I think the okay, the story start from two years ago or two and a half years ago when we got the our Tesla Model S. I really hope it will sound very very good. But after we hear it, we found there must be something we can improve a little bit. So we dig it in, try to find what's the technology and topology inside. In the end, we we will show whatever we found with you guys. So, but as the we think, I think we are the world class leading high speed deck and audio equipment manufacturers. We cannot be satisfied just for okay, whatever is being used for many many years ago is a lower lower efficiency, not so good quality stuff. We should do something better. So that's the reason why we、mm, we need to have a better amp and a better speaker system in Tesla. Okay, so where did you start? I guess start、so、with the amplifier. Amplifier is the one usually is where the signal begins. Is the where that signal will be driving to your speaker. Amplifier is very important. So、uh, let's see the original ones that we found inside the Tesla. Model S premium audio system is a premium audio system. Yeah, this that little、uh, amplifier does not exist if you have the standard system, right? It's, no, it's, it's a premium. It's extra. It will cost you something to get that. All right, as you can see in the board, don't don't look at ours now. Check theirs. They are for we can call the amplifier, or you can imagine this the motor inside your audio path. It's okay. Get a signal input, drive the signal output, make the current, make the voltage higher and more. It needs have five inputs here and five outputs here, but it totally only use four motors or little amplifiers here, and each of them they are class A B. Which is the technology we can found from 1980, 85. I don't know, but it's a very old one. So the efficiency here is definitely not enough. You will spend a lot of useless your battery just inside, even without listening to any music. It's consuming, drain out your、just、battery. Turning it into heat, right? Turning、yeah. heat, yeah, for nothing. And the sound quality-wise, the THD, the distortion won't be too low. And when you really need that power, there's not enough volume because each of them can only give you 75 watts or so. So totally times five, we are talking about 500, 400 watts. It's definitely not enough for power such an important nice car. All right. So here's it. You can see the little inductors here. Mm, few caps here, and the the component quality and the brand is average. I can say that. Okay, now check ours. <clears throat> This is the second generation. We will make it even better. But you can see something. We still got the the fine tuning parts on the back. But this is the direct comparison. Same size. Yeah, it's actually pretty important because we our amp has to fit exactly in the same cavity that the premium amp from Tesla fits in, right? Yes. So check this out. Every good quality start from with the good component and good topology. Always this do. So check the topology here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Totally eight amplifiers here, driving five channels. Each of them actually is a stereo. So actually, one each one we got dual core. So we are talking about sixteen, but packing into A. So on the right hand side, this four, we serve for only one purpose: drive your subwoofer. Yeah, that's the biggest complaint on the forum that、yes. I can read is that nobody thinks that there's well, no bass. There's no bass. That's that、some、seems to be、bass. the consensus. Okay, I'd be、yeah. fair. Some bass, but definitely not enough. I am the classical music lover. I don't listen to Daft Punk every or day. EDM or yeah, <laughs> yeah. anything like But that. But even me, I feel that it's、um, something's missing. The bottom half is you just don't have it. So in this new M, we have four here. We will give you uh well 600 watts alone for your subwoofer. In the higher model, we can even give you 750 watts just from here for subwoofer alone. Well,、uh, and、one? you know that's that's the continuous power. I mean, peak、yes. power we can get. 
when when there's something that really needs a boom yes like a thousand watts right? yes thousand watts that's the time you need the power most like when you accelerate your car that's the time you need that right yeah. i love to drive tesla that's the way i always woo my friend <laughs> all right right hand side is the model model important each output channel we have a daddy k amplifier or motors here so this is the left front of your door, this is the rear, this is the left rear, this is the right rear, and this is the front right. Every channel has its dedicated driver, amplifier, motors, whatsoever. It's a time to have a dedicated signal input and output. Check the components here. This for little pretty blue one is a capacitors made in Switzerland. The center inductor again compare here. I don't know where it's made from. I, I cannot tell. This one was made in Germany, worth. And also the everything, the little red one capacitors is Wima, also made in Germany. And this four big caps is the audio gray Nichicon, car audio gray caps made in Japan. This one made in USA. For a lot of inductors, you can see that it's all made from the best manufacturers. Again, every nice amplifier, every nice component start with the component quality. We insist that we will use the best in your car. On the back, again, a lot of good inductors you can see here. Right. And we insist the layout, everything is the best. So going back to even you don't need to know the detail of the circuitry and everything. I think everybody can tell which one is 